Hello, hello, Rich Boy J here, back again with another video, and this is a pretty awesome stream, actually. So, I actually have some pretty cool stuff that came in today, well, actually one really cool thing that came in. Um, this bad boy right here, so this is a giant First Order logo. This is actually a big sticker, basically, and this is going to be placed on our First Order banners for Starkiller Base, so... Um, I mentioned earlier, I guess on the update, that I was hopefully going to get this in. It came in, and now we can actually start making Star Killer Base look like the First Order's Star Killer Base. So, what I'm going to do for this stream is first thing I need to do is uh, take off these tiles because when I made this specific banner, I used a lot of 1x2 tiles. Because I didn't have any 2x2s two left, but 2x2s two have been purchased. So the 1x2s are going to have to get taken off. I'm going to replace those with 2x2s. Two and then um, I'm going to actually apply the big sticker. I've never applied a sticker this large to anything. So it'll be a very meticulous process. And I'm hoping I can do it well. Because it would really suck if I didn't do it well. But um, let's, let's see what we can get done here. So how's everyone doing today? Appreciate that Infernal Bricks. Yeah, like I'm super excited for this stream. This is definitely one of the cooler things that I've done. One, on stream, and two, just with this mock, or with mocks in general. So, um, the annoying part starting up front is going to be removing all these tiles. It's a lot of tiles, but once I get this done, I think it'll be a pretty exciting time. As for the next update, it'll be up on Sunday. I think I made a community post uh, explaining that I wasn't able to do an update for last weekend. I just felt like with the progress I got done, it wasn't enough new stuff. Like it was really kind of more of the same and I didn't want to put out an update that I wasn't completely happy with. So um, I've been working a considerable amount on the mock. You guys might even see a little bit of that today. Um, it's sitting in front of me. This thing is just so massive. You guys have no idea. Like I really wish I had the ability to bring all of you here into this room. So you could see the mock because this thing is giant. Like I'm sitting back looking at it now. I am just amazed. And once again, this is only half of the mock. I can't stress that enough. This mock is going to be ridiculous. But um, I still got to put in the work to get to that point. So why talk about it when I can be about it? What's up, Patrick Clark? How you doing, man? I'm going to be at the whole stream today. Awesome. Glad to hear that, Captain Lego Star Wars. Did I know that you love the Titanic? You know, I had a feeling, but I wasn't entirely sure. And um, I guess it's def it's also worth mentioning that I had this I had this commissioned to be made. Um, I had it commissioned by OK Brickworks. He did the artwork for it, and he printed it on this vinyl paper. So um, shout out to him for that. I really appreciate it, man. Go check out. I don't know. I guess he's on Instagram. You can check him out there. He he does a lot of sticker work for people in the community. So you guys can go check him out. <laughs> What's up, Josh Pierce? How you doing, man? My day's going pretty well, man. I'm off of work today, so um, this morning I spent ordering parts for monster trucks. This is the newest monster truck I've made. This is Bigfoot. Uh, it's one of the more popular monster trucks from back in the day. So I got this one built. This was another one. I think I've shown this one before. Um, and I've just been ordering parts for monster trucks. I don't know, man. Intergalactic Brick says, how do you become a moderator and what was your first live stream? First live stream was sometime earlier last year in 2018. Um, I don't even, I mean, I guess we were working on, no, my first live stream, actually, I know exactly what it was. On this channel, my first live stream was um, during Hurricane Harvey that we had here in Houston. And um, <laughs> I was, what was I, I was working on my Rogue One Star Destroyer mock. Uh, Seagull Boyo says, no longer acting in the community as I used to be, knowing that I want to resign from being mocked, no longer acting in live streams, I hope. Someone else deserves my place, sorry. That's totally fine. Hopefully at some point you um, can find more time to be active in the community, but I totally understand, man. Mac S says he went to the hospital. Was it was it a happy hospital visit or, a, or an unhappy hospital visit? I'm taking the tiles off because these are one by twos and I'm replacing them with two by twos. So these two banners are both two by two tiled. When I did this one, I just wanted to have it complete for the update and I wanted to see what it would look like. So I just used the one by twos that I had on hand. 
but now I have the two by two. I actually have them for a while. I've just been meaning to replace them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that, man. Only hospital visit is, uh, only happy hospital visit is a child's birth, birth. All others are hell. I mean, if you're, per, well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you've been, you can get good news at the hospital. That's not necessarily true. Like, if you've been, like, going through treatment for something and you find out, you know, everything's going to be all right, that can, that can be a, hosp a happy hospital visit. You should do what Brickfall did with the Yavin Mock and, made, and the minifigure display to make a museum-like thing where people can come see what you make in real life instead of at Brick Fair. I mean, if I had the money to have, like, a studio or some sort of, like, office space where I can have my, um, my mocks on display, I would love to do that. That's just not really feasible for me at the moment. Alright, see ya. I love the Titanic. What's up, unspeakable MC Pro? Did you figure out how Darth Maul goes to the bathroom yet? Yeah, no, I did not. I was, I was, I was still uh, looking for that in what's it called? Uh, Star Wars Theories channel. Our Lego store is moving in our mall. We're slated for a soft opening on Triple Force Friday. Nice, that's awesome. So I decided to buy Legos of firearms. I just couldn't choose. I have to decide to buy Legos. I don't, I don't Are you saying you're buying Lego instead of firearms? Is that what you mean? Um, yeah, I saw the... Oh, Lego or... Okay, I see what you mean. Watch you mess up the sticker. Why are you such a jerk? Why are you so mean? You weren't this mean when I met you. Some people just get on the internet and become a different person. Um, yeah, I saw the new Brickheads. It's Kylo Ren and the Sith Trooper. Honestly, the most surprising thing from the Brickheads that I saw is the fact that Kylo had a hood. From all the character designs I've seen from in Episode Nine, he didn't have a hood. So I'm glad he has the hood. I like the way Kylo looks with the hood. I think my favorite Kylo Ren design is probably you know at the beginning of Episode uh, Seven. So I mean, I don't really care for Brickheads. That those sets don't really mean anything to me. But um, it was just interesting to see that Kylo has a a hood. I'm uh, so I'm gonna be applying this first order logo sticker to these first order banners. So the process is actually gonna be maybe not as straightforward as you'd think. I'm actually gonna have to lay it out on these, and I'm gonna have to cut the the banner in threes so it'll go. I mean, cut the the sticker in three so it'll span each individual banner. So. That'll probably be the most tricky part of this. Maybe other than lining it up. I don't know. There needs to be a backup plan in case of an unnatural disaster. My backup plan is I'll just sharpie it onto these tiles. I'll just draw it myself. The Star Wars Galaxy has pod racing as a sport. Um, what do they have in place of monster trucks? That's a great question. That's a wonderful question. A while back, I said the white one was worth it. Just FYI, I bought it. It's a pretty solid model. Yeah, I like the Grieveling on it. I think it's a, it's a good-looking UCS set. Jay, what's the live stream moderator? How do you become one? Live stream moderators basically ensure peace and order in the, the live streams. You basically just have the ability to make sure that people are not causing trouble. Um, and I just choose them based on need. Any tips on building and getting the money to build Moxus Large? Work, get a job if you're of age. Biggest model I've made in LED was my ATM6. It's the biggest model I've made of any one particular thing. To finish our killer base, I have like cool looking blaster, not normal ones. They're especially Star Wars and Army. Sorry, only nine can have Instagram, okay. And taking these tiles off is not fun. I temporarily attached all three panels together before sticking less things. Oh yeah, so I got this. I have this base plate here. I want to stick them all together. I actually have to do that because um, there's a small gap between all the banners, so I'm gonna have to basically put tiles between it. And part like a very small part of the sticker is just gonna be removed entirely uh, to ensure that the banner is consistent across all three 
to ensure the sticker is consistent across all three banners. But no, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Right now, I'm just taking these tiles off because I have to replace them with these 2x2 two two red tiles. How many monster trucks do you plan on building? A lot. I don't know. I, I just I just keep seeing monster trucks I like, and I'm like, okay, I'll build that one. I'll build that one. I think at some point, I'll have a collection of like 100 or so of them as I just get more of them designed and built. I do have a Discord server. I think Nightbot will eventually post about it in the chat so you'll see it what's up jake turka how are you doing by the way Anther? make a video about your monster truck once i get more of them built i will is there an atat mock recommend, recommend that was between the scale of your one and the set size i think i'm doing the plus size one but i don't know if there's a better one i mean i guess the plus size one is the most popular one um at that scale so yeah may as well just do that one the plus size one also i mean if you have the most recent ATAT -AT set. I think it uses a lot of parts from that, so a lot of people find that the most convenient one to build. What's up, Cosmic Brick Forty Four? What's up, Cake Craft Plays? <sighs> Jay, would you wrestle me? Would be epic video WWE video game. Uh, I'd probably be awful, but sure. <laughs> What's up, Empire Brick Studios? What's your question? Jbot. Have you played Gears 5 and the new Borderlands 3? I've not played either of those games. There's a Gears of War 5? Holy crap. I had no idea there were that many Gears of Wars. So many tiles, dude. This is not fun. It'll all be worth it in the end when I have a big, three big banners to show. Do I plan to get the uh, UCS Star Destroyer? Uh, I will get it. I can't get it anytime soon, but I will get it. What do you think uh, about people saying Republic Brick scams people? I mean, I don't know that he scams people. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> How much does your mock cost so far? That's a great question that I have no answer to, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't do an update last week because, like I said earlier, and in my uh, community posts, I just wanted to... Uh, I want it to basically just have a little bit more to show. Would it be less tedious to just remake a banner? Though I guess it's got to be deconstructed sometime. Uh, yeah, so I was actually thinking about that to just do it again. But I'd rather not. I mean, I, I'm going to have to, one, yes, take it apart at some point. And I need these parts, a lot of these plates. I mean, I'm running like uncomfortably low on a lot of these big plates right now so i'd rather not have to worry about doing this again i did consider that though i was like maybe it'll be quicker to just make a new one but i was like nah there's there's a lot of plates in this thing your opinion what's the best nah UCS set Lego Star Wars set for 2019. Um, you mean so, like, can I include the episode 9 sets? Or not? I mean, because they're not out yet. I probably want to get those and then give you an accurate answer. But if we're talking about sets so far, I'd probably say the AT AP for me. And yeah, 16 by 16 plates are expensive. I got a few of them here. Favorite Star Wars character is Luke Skywalker. DMK, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Best meal I've ever made. I don't know, honestly. What's up, Brick Studios? Will I be at Brick for Alabama? Probably not.
Yeah, the next wave of sets will be the episode 9 sets. They'll be on Triple Force Friday. How long is your stream going to be for? Um, I guess we'll see how long it takes me to get this done. I don't know. What's up, Owen Summerfield? How you doing, man? I will not be at Brookworld, Indiana. I didn't even know that there was in Brookworld, Indiana. Yo, don't sleep on ramen, bro. Ramen goes hard. Jesus, it's not fun. What's up, Drunk Vax? Nightbot, Nightbot will eventually post the uh, the Discord link. How often do you casually quote Star Wars in conversations? I seem to do it in reflex now. I guess it depends on who I'm talking to. If it's some person who wouldn't get the reference, I probably won't do it. If I'm talking to like people at like Lego Convention or Star Wars fans all the time. I'm going to sell some of my first order ties once the mock is done. Probably not. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I spent a lot of time on each of these mocks, each of these uh, TIE Fighters. I don't know, maybe at some point, if, like, like once this trilogy is over, and we probably will never see First Order TIEs again, maybe. But I don't know, like, it's a good ship to have. Like, I'd like to do a Star Destroyer hangar at some point. I don't know, man. Good question, though. What's up, CEO Clone Commander? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty well, DMK. My hand is starting to hurt from removing these tiles. The only the only thing worse than the fact that I have to remove these tiles is the fact that I'm immediately going to have to place tiles in right after it. I think LEGO needs to make a double-wide brick separator. Like, for real, for real. Advice on growing a channel? My advice is always upload good content consistently. All right, see you, Owen. Take care, man. Do I like Minecraft? I actually never even played Minecraft. You should use a teal brick separator. They're far superior. I don't even know. I'm sure I have a few teal ones, but I don't know where they are. Would I ever visit Spain? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. AJ, wish me luck. Found a Q1 by 5. Got her Snapchat. Did some chatting with her, and I think she likes me. Ooh, look at you. Make sure you treat her with respect. You gotta uphold the Boyo code. All right, see ya, unspeakable MC Pro. Have fun playing Fortnite. I hate taking studs off a of base plate. A brick separator can't even do it. Yeah, taking studs apart is even worse than this. That unlimited Lego parts, I would build Geonosis. How many of you guys watched the uh, mock show, Lego Star Wars mock showcase from this week? The video is doing really well, but I feel like that Star Destroyer in it is just insane. Happy birthday, Ace Gamer Studios. I've never met Jang Bricks. I don't really know many people in the community who have make, met Jang, other than like Beyond the Brick, because I guess they interviewed him. But Jang seems to kind of stay to himself. Is it true that I used Mega Blocks? Absolutely not. Someone type in the chat that I hope JV's having a good day. I would appreciate it. What have I done today? So, woke up, went to the grocery store, came home, ordered parts for more monster trucks, and then streamed. So, a mostly lazy day. I think all the mock showcases have been some of your best work. They're really fun and interesting to see other builders' opinions. Appreciate that, man. The mock showcases are really fun to do. Just his videos. What's up, X Studios 3000? I 
I assign mods when I need them, so if the chat starts getting out of hand and no mods are around, I will assign new mods. <sighs> Seriously, can LEGO release a double wide brick separator? Shout out to Captain LEGO Star Wars for sending $200. 200 imaginary monies. Appreciate it, bro. Good looking out. No showcase. I watch. No joke. I watched the showcase 30 minutes before I joined. Appreciate that, man. Are you not afraid of tiles breaking? I feel like every time I separate a tile is a 50-50 coin toss. I don't know what kind of pieces you've been using, but I have never broken a two by two tile from using a brick separator on it. I'm trying to finish my uh, gunship so I can make an episode two gunship with bubble turrets. Won't be fun. What is not finished on your current gunship? What's up, Nintendo Crab 101? What's up, William Colgren? Oh, my God. What's up, Daniel Sides? Appreciate that, JB. Maybe you can make a small Geonosis mock on a single gray base plate. That would be fun. I, I mean, I just don't see a lot of value in me doing a small Geonosis mock. Like, Geonosis is the biggest battle we see on screen. Land battles, obviously. And I don't know, I would want to capture the, the scale of that in Lego. What were the two galaxies as references in Solo? Working on redoing the interior of your Resistance Bomber. That's nice. What are you intending on doing with it? Yeah, that's a great set. Resistance Bomber is one of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars, and that set is insane. I love it. Oh my god. Jay, you can just attach two brick separators to each other. I mean, it's difficult to do that and make them sturdy. Like, it's it's almost not even worth it. Biggest Lego regret was not watching or not buying the Superstar Story when it was in stores. I've been updating it since Chicago, and now it's basically perfect minifig scale. I need to finish adding my new updated doors. Okay, that's awesome. Do I know anything about the Rebel Leg application process? How do I build my portfolio? I have no idea. I applied to Rebel Leg back in the day, and I never got a response back. So <laughs> that is the extent of my knowledge about applying to Rebel Leg. Trying to make it more rounded without changing the exterior because the movies, in the movies, it's pretty round, but it sets really flat. Okay, I see what you mean. Oh my god. Alright, see ya, X Studios. If you had enjoyed a lug, what lug would you choose? I really love um, Beta Lug. Shout out to Beta Lug. Is that a Chinese flag? No. It's a first order flag. Geonosis is better large scale, but it's too expensive. Exactly, that's why I haven't done it. Hey, shout out to Chris Blake Productions for the $5 donation. He says, it's dropping in. Currently, I've been working under a three-foot high deck since 8.30. Wish my sword back luck tomorrow. Ah, oh, that sounds very uncomfortable, but best of luck, man. <laughs> Take care. Thank you so much. RIP Beta Lug. Bro, Beta Lug, I love Beta Lug. Some great guys in Beta Lug. I'm just going to use my fingernails now. Like, I'm tired of that brick separator hurting my hand. I have so many of these 1x2 red tiles from Crate. This is where the fun begins. I was beginning to wonder whether you'd gotten my message. What's up, B Riff? How you doing, bro? 
Making a custom young Link for Zelda. Nice. What's up, Lego Star Wars Gamer? One, two, three. Jay Houston here is an easy brick separator. Just drop test it. The sad thing about drop testing is the tiles aren't going to just all magically pop off. <laughs> and Daniel says you can donate by hitting the money sign um, in the chat. Should be right next to where you type messages. That's how you send in super chats. Super chattel droid. Everyone say a prayer for my fingernails. I actually almost done with this, so taking these off, so it's not gonna hopefully it won't do too much damage. Feel so bad for all the peace upgrading. Dude, I still haven't done it with crate. And doing this does not make me optimistic to even try to start doing it with crate. Doing good hanging out, wasn't expecting to stream. I love the blue monster truck and the storm. Uh, amid the stormtroopers, I love me some first order destruction derby. Yeah, this is um, a classic monster truck called Bigfoot. This is this is Bigfoot. So um, yeah, I built this last night. I was up so late, dude. I was up until so I was working on Star Killer, and then I was like, okay, now I need to uh, work on this mock. So uh, I mean, work on the monster truck. So I um, I was up until how late was I up? I was up until like 3 a.m. working on that monster truck. I don't know what it is about these monster trucks, but um, I'm very excited to be building them. I have a habit of chewing on my fingernails, so have some fun with yours. I unfortunately, I, I, I can't do it. I'm very particular about how my fingernails feel, and chewing on them doesn't feel good. It was a ripoff of Captain N. What is Captain N? It was in a ripoff of... What is Captain N? I don't know what that is. What is that? So I recently got my hands on a partially complete 2004 UCS Wyoming. Do you think I should sell it as is or complete it? I mean, compared to the new one especially, it's not a very good looking set in my opinion. Hey, shout out to Daniel Sides for the $1 donation. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Friend canceled, so I'm back. Wow. That is not a boyo move. That's what I want to add that to the one of the rules of the boyo code. If you make plans with a friend and you cancel them, you are not a boyo. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Ryan stole just just goods memes. Ryan stole Jay's mock showcase. Jay stole Axe Seminar. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Ryan was probably not the first person on YouTube doing a Q&A series. I was not the first person on YouTube doing a mock review series. And Just Too Good was not the first person on YouTube doing a meme review series. Am I a boyo or a true boyo? DMK, I would say you're a true boyo. Have you played Hitman before? I have not. That's like an old game, isn't it? Wasn't that like... Did they make... Did Hitman go from a... From a... A movie to a game or a game to a movie? What's up, Shaw Brick Productions? Um, Captain, it was a cartoon where the main characters from a bunch of NES video games fight evil with some lame guy from the real world. Bigfoot was a ripoff... Ripoff of that show with worse characters and games. Am I missing something? In my world, Bigfoot is a monster truck. Was Bigfoot another? Sh was a sh was Bigfoot a show as well? I have not seen it. Chapter two. You need to make a Boyo Bill of Rights. I'll I'll do that. I'll make the Boyo Bible, the Boyoble, B O Y O B L E, the Boyoble. Was in it. Oh, okay, okay. That makes way more sense. I was reading that and I'm like, what the heck is Brian talking about? But okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, see you at Adventure Brick Studios. Will you be getting episode 9 sets? Yes, I will. J. 
Jay, how big is your backlog? Minus two first order battle packs of the Flame Trooper. Um, I mean, once I took out my um, first order stuff to make to work on this mock, um, my backlog got significantly smaller because there were like uh, what four first order transporters, five first order Tie Fighters, four first order Snow Speeders, and about a hundred or so battle packs. So. Um, I think I'm, I'm good to go now. Most popular YouTuber you're subscribed to? Um, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Philip DeFranco? Probably Philly D. Alright, I need some plates to level this. Jay, would you want an Anakin and the Younglings battle pack? Uh, sure. That's a good Lego meme set. Watt Tambor or Gunray? It's a good question. I'll go with Watt Tambor. How can you not like a guy with buttons on his chest? Can you join Stream VC on Discord? What does that mean? Yo, a question for someone vaguely from uh, st with stuff familiar with stuff from Legends. Is there anything personally you personally miss from EU that's not fully canon now? No, not at all. I mean, I, was, was Kotor ever actually canon? I would assume probably not, right? I don't. I just never like even before Disney officially made it not canon. A lot of the EU stuff, I didn't really register it as part of my head canon, like. A lot of it was just kind of goofy and hokey. I was just... I don't know. I just, I, I just really preferred to ignore it. It really was not a big deal at all to me when Disney made the stuff Legends. What's up, Ogle? How you doing, man? Jay, best lightsaber duel in the prequels and worst one in the prequels. Don't count the Clone Wars. So, best lightsaber duel in the prequels. I guess Duel of Fates. I mean, it's... The choreography is still a little too fake looking for my personal taste but um it's it's not as bad as it could be worst duel has to be um anakin and obi-wan versus dooku in episode two like what a just like pointless tensionless boring duel and there's like those weird shots where anakin and and Dooku are like swinging their lightsabers. It's like the weird close up to their fate. Like it just looks so bad. Um, I my, my next monster truck I make should be a Chewbacca truck, dude. You should definitely do Star Wars monster trucks. Personally, I like the Tie Phantom as a ship design, but most of the EU felt like fan fiction. Accepting everything in the EU was canon uh, means accepting force repellent reptiles is canon. That's I honestly forgot about that. That's a great point. Uh, worst duels pop. That was a pretty bad duel too. There's a lot of. I mean, I don't. I don't want to make this a prequel hate stream, but there are a lot of battles in the prequels that I really don't care for. Can you join stream voice channel on Discord? Are you asking me if I can do that, or are you asking if you are able to do that? There's a company that makes a custom cross guard lightsaber called. X39 Brick Custom slash Brick Tactical. Um, I wonder, I mean, what is, do they, is it just um, the cross guard? Does it have, like, the blades actually coming out of the side of the hilt rather than, like, Lego Solution where having all three blades connected? Like, would that be the, the advantage to getting that? I would love to make a Monster Mutt Dalmatian truck. You totally should. I need to find more people who are actually interested in building monster trucks because I was thinking, like, I want to have a bunch of them, but, like, I don't want to have to design every single one. I need to find monster truck lovers in the community to build monster trucks, and we can collectively really hammer out a lot of them. I'm asking you to join. So you want me to join a voice server in Discord, like, right now? What video, what type of video did you upload, Creeper Craft Gaming? Monster truck lug. Yo, I might have to do that. Real talk. Real tea. I'm just adding tiles to this banner. What's up, Noah? How you doing, man? 
What a wonderful color. Jay, I don't want to make this a prequel hate stream. Me, I mean, it's always like that hate stream. I don't try to go out of my way to hate on the prequels. They bring it, they bring it to themselves. Blade comes out of the handle. Okay, I gotcha. Honestly, worst battle for me is tied between Yoda versus Dooku and Anakin versus Obi-Wan. It's a controversial pick, but genuinely a really unfocused fight with no dialogue or good choreography. It's bad. I mean, the Mustafar duel is, is, I'd say, on the lower end of battles. But I, I don't know, dude. That Anakin versus Count Dooku battle is so bad. Like, like this, like the, the camera angles are bad. Like, it's just a really pointless battle because who cares about Dooku? Like, there's just... I don't know, man. The the Yoda and Dooku fight, while I don't agree with Yoda, you know, having a tiny lightsaber and flipping around fighting, at least had the novelty of, oh, like, this is the first time we've seen Yoda fight. So there's some intrigue there, but, I don't know, Anakin versus Dooku for me was just, ugh. Should I build a medieval world or a modern city for my multi-month project? You should definitely build a modern city. Starting pad from two months ago, ever have that when you find pieces, like you didn't sort them, you're like, oh, that's what they're, oh, all the time, dude. I need to sort so badly. Yes, please join. I mean, I don't really use Discord very often, honestly. If you guys are talking about monster trucks in it, maybe I'll join. I'm watching this on a three hour bus ride. Where are you, where are you going? All right, go get that money, bro. What game's a big failure to you? I'm not a huge gamer, but game like my life has been a continuing stream of official monster truck games that disappoint me. And I'm not even just saying that because I've like been super into monster trucks lately. Like those are the games that have constantly disappointed me. Where is San Angelo? Jay, I thought you'd really like the Star Wars theory thing I sent you. Did I not respond to it? I'm pretty sure I responded to it. Did you make that photo yourself? I thought it was pretty hilarious. Just join the chart. Put the giant sticker. Uh, no, I'm applying these tiles. The middle of nowhere in Texas. Oh, okay. Honestly, when you first sent that to me, I had every expectation that that was a real video from Star Wars Theory. Yeah, I played Halo back in the day. What is the giant sticker? It's a First Order logo. I went outside, I put my Jason mask on, and I scared the kids getting on the bus. It was so funny. Wow. Well, that is something. Opinion on the new UCS Star Destroyer. I did a pretty, I did two pretty lengthy videos on it, but I like it a lot. I can't wait to get one. So I see you're doing Starkiller Base. Can you confirm or deny that? That's confidential information. I can't disclose that. Not now. There's not enough Halo Mox. If you want Halo Mox, go to Mega Blocks, I guess. There aren't enough monster truck mocks. John Magnus Omland says, Hi, I love your videos, especially the Vardos one. I appreciate that. Shout out to Vardos. What a time. What a good time. During your most recent mo mock showcase, it really well. Congrats. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've, I've been keeping an eye on that. I'm super happy about that. I don't know what it is about those mock showcases, but they, they have a lot of potential. That's why I, I try to make sure I do them. And they're fun videos to make. I think people enjoy looking at mocks. And it's fun to expose people to mocks they wouldn't have seen otherwise. Also, Trevor, I've, I meant to text you this, but I'll just mention it now. Um, can you send me photos of your... Uh, should I even say it? Your vehicle build so I can put it in the mock showcase. 
I guess I've shown it on my channel before, but for anyone listening now, I'll I'll try to keep some yeah, a, a little bit of a surprise. If Lego decides to make dark orange pieces a lot more uh, easily to get, I'll totally do Genosis after this mod. We were talking about monster trucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you actually though? I have to make sure before I apply the stickers, I do a really good job pushing all the tiles down. That's going to be actually a really important thing to do. Wait, which one letter does it start with? It starts with an A and ends with an R. No, how big is are you planning to make your Geonosis? I wanna be honest, I don't I don't have any intentions on doing one anytime soon, so it, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm gonna make a pork monster truck. That's not a bad idea. We need more pork related Lego creations. When you pick the sticker on, be careful with some word of advice. Yes. I'm very scared to do it, but also very excited because I've been waiting for some time to get it in. Quite large, plan to include two to three big vault ATTEs. Are you just gonna do the battle scene or what, what are you planning on including in it? Is that like your next mock for sure? Or is it something you've just been getting pieces for over time? All right, take care, Nintendo Crab 101. I want to start in September, but with Brick and Rivari happening, I don't want to rush it. I'll probably start in the beginning of October once I get some videos out. I'm glad you're doing that. You have any like terrain prototypes? I'd love to see kind of like what your idea is for that. Can you please put a picture on wrong just for labs? Put what other? Oh, you mean that? I mean no, but it says I'm sorry, Jay. I can't. It's in rough shape now. Looks like an ATM6. Really appreciate you wanting to feature that. I will have many more ships coming out there. Don't worry. Did you never get pictures of it? And shout out to Shadow Vision for uh, subscribing. Appreciate it. Trevor, you gotta take pictures of your box, bro. Ethan, can you send me pictures of your mock before you take it apart and pull a Trevor? I am applying tiles to this giant banner. Actually, almost done. Okay. Oh, I'm not done. I need to remove more tiles. What's up, Zadie? How you doing, man? Yeah, bro, I've been on that uh, monster truck Lego grind. How many red tiles is that? I think, I don't know, maybe around 200 something for this one banner. So uh, at least 600 for all three. So it's um, a folder of concepts and ideas. That's it for now. I've been debating on a few ideas. As we know, landing at Point Rain is obviously the most iconic scene slash battle on Genosis during. Oh, so you're doing one from the Clone Wars show? If I did Genosis, I'd do it from the film. Holy crap, Stormy has evolved. What's up, dude? 
I guess she came here to flex that new profile pic slash name. What's up, man? Then there's an idea to do it from episode two and otherwise make it Battlefront style. Yeah, I would do it from episode two. I never met someone who likes Monster Truck. Seems like something obscure at this point. I mean, I guess. I never met someone who likes Harry Potter. It seems obscure to me. Nah, I mean, even... For me, mon finding someone who like likes monster trucks in my life has been like trying to find people who like Lego Star Wars. Like you don't just kind of casually come across these people in in day to day life. You find yourself building relationships with them through like online communities. So like I have a bunch of friends who like monster trucks, most of which I met through like an online community, similar to my uh, Lego friends. All right, so now all the tiles have been applied. We got three banners with tiles. And what I'm gonna do next is actually kind of work through on pushing a lot of these down. I don't want to have any unnecessary like bubbles or anything. Finding someone who likes monster trucks is like finding someone who likes both Lego stars and wrestling. Pretty much, bro. Uh. Can you make a battle of Kashyyyk Mach? I'll do it at some point. I'm sure by the end of my, like, Mach career, I'll have made every battle at least once can we expect a triple force friday stream most likely yes yes and garrett will actually be here for that so if you miss him that'll be your time to see him he says uh jay guessing your take is episode two style oh yeah i would much prefer episode two i don't know. i mean point rain's cool but I, I, I don't know episode two is just more interesting if it ever comes down to like would i build something from the cartoon or from the film i'm almost always going to default the film it just feels more real to me i mean because it is right like it is like objectively more real and mason you better like the episode two gunship more it is objectively better do you know how to make a good hanger mock ish i wanted something to put my mini figs in uh, I mean, you can do something that we see in films, like, you know, we see tons of hangers in Star Wars. Episode 2 or Battlefront next? I'd say just Episode 2. Battlefront can be good for some of the scenery, but in terms of, like, characters, I'd, I'd default Episode 2. Bro, hold on a second. How is a super kind of moderator? He's one of the best mock builders on YouTube. I mean, I don't just make good builders moderators. Now that I think of it, H2 Brick has photos of the build, and I I don't have any, though. Why does Noah have photos of your build, but you don't? I don't understand. What's up, Inbomb247? What's up, Patrick Langer? Is that how you pronounce that? What's up, Lego Loudmouth? How hard is your minifig ATAT to build, considering it is my first big build? Considering it as your first big build, um, I mean, as long if you can build, I don't know. I, I, it's not any more difficult than any big Lego set you would build. Honestly, the most difficult thing about my ATAT is getting it on the legs once you finish constructing it. As for putting it together, it's not a difficult build. Congrats to Jamin for getting his driver's license. All right. So many tiles to push down. Oh, my God. All right. I'm happy with this.
If Jay keeps skipping me like this, he has the whole... I'm gonna leave him... What are you... I feel like every stream I have, you complain about me skipping you, and I, I have no idea what you're so upset about. I don't notice every message. If you get skipped, send it again. What's up, Cosmic Bricks? My day is going pretty well, man. Modify your monster truck into a first order vehicle with a giant gun at the back of it and put it in the Boyo Lounge. I'll probably end up putting a monster truck in this mock, but I'm definitely not going to put a gun on it. What's up, Darian Sifford? If you lost the ability to live stream, what would you do to keep your channel going? I mean, all the other things I do. <laughs> live streams, I mean, it's a fun thing to do, but I still... Most of the videos I do are not live streams. Oh, I was actually sent a photo of the monster truck. Let's see what we got. Hey, that's pretty good, dude. Shout out to Real Lego Man Productions. For hopping on the wave. That's his monster truck. Put the two people with the most donations in the monster truck that you put in the mock. That is actually a good idea. That is some high praise if you end up in the monster truck. Shout out to Kritek Utek for subscribing. Appreciate that. Favorite ship in the Star Wars universe is the Republic gunship. You gotta put Monster Mutt in it. I was actually thinking about that the other day. I'm probably gonna build Monster Mutt at some point. What do you think of Rise of Skywalker? I mean, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't even seen an actual trailer for it. How about we, like, when are we going to get an actual trailer for that film? I'm tired of all these goofy teases. Shout out to Necro Gaming for subscribing. How do you get those orange names to pop up? I think if you're tagged in a comment, if it's your name, it'll be orange. Sufi Dart says, I don't mind studs. I mean, it's Lego. I mean, I think I'd, I'd rather go studless. A lot of subscribers. What is happening right now? What do you want to see happen in Rise of Skywalker? At this point, I feel like it'd be easier to just answer what I don't want to happen. Oh, I'll be making a mock AT-18 a month or so, just uh, collecting the last few bricks. It's designed by Raskolnikov. Yeah, he did the plus size one. That's what that is, right? Can you look at my mock? I need ideas on what to add to it. Yeah, shoot it to me on Instagram. Um, Scout Trooper helmet has to be my favorite. I think by far. That thing is insane. The chat is going insane right now. Seriously, I'm like I'm running the same thing. Like subscribers are coming in nonstop and the chat's going wild.
What's up, Brick Fanatic? I mean, that mock showcase I released is doing really well. I've gained a decent amount of subs from that. Would you recommend me buying your Falcon mock instructions for a multi-year project? I mean, of course. That Falcon is... I mean, I don't really show it as much love as I should, but it's definitely one of my favorite mocks that I've done. Um, I mean, if you like the Falcon, if you like the interior of it, like... It's so fun to open up and look through. Like, there's there's just so much in that mock, I feel. Love you, man. Great to see that mocks are still in fashion. Oh, I hope so. Man, if mocks went out of style, I'd be in trouble. Jay, the same guy who did the review on the custom AAT has a review of Caleb Breaks Arc 170. I saw that. What's his name? I'm actually subscribed to him. I just haven't watched it yet. Thoughts of the new Child Content Demonetization Act that's being enforced in four months? Do you think it'll affect you? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll start cussing in videos if it does. I'm not freaking out over it right now. I made a video of my Lego Nazi film and an update, well, weekly update today. Okay. Sounds cool, I guess. Actually, maybe I don't need the base plate. I'll just, jeez. J1K Monarch Star Destroyer or the new Lego set version. Um, I mean, the mock is always going to be better than the set, right? The best Star Destroyer mock I've seen is, um, what is it? Hold on, let me pull it up. Someone sent me photos of it recently. Jay, you should see if Brick Arms or Brick Mania will sponsor you so you don't have to buy $200 plus on Brick Arms. I actually do need to do that. They don't typically sponsor people, though, from what I've seen, which is kind of disappointing. Where is this? I was just talking to this guy about this insane... I don't even remember who it was. Maybe it was on Instagram. Hunter is... I don't know. I have no idea. I'm assuming at home. Hopefully somewhere safe at home. This is it. It is. Whose is it? Uh, this is apparently Anderson's Star Destroyer. Um, it is going to be 60 inches long, which is basically 5 feet long. 37 inches wide, 24 inches tall. This thing is ridiculous. If you guys get a chance, look up Anderson Star Destroyer. I guess he sells the instructions to it. It looks insane. I don't think that I like the Super Star Destroyer UCS sets anymore after seeing David do a comparison of it against the new UCS Star Destroyer. You mean... I mean... See, this is why you need to listen to me. I've been, I've been preaching all along that the Super Star Destroyer is not a good set. No one listens to me, though. You gotta trust old rich boy. Old rich boy wouldn't steer you astray. You gotta trust in rich boy Jay. He would never lead you astray. I know, but why is he not here? I don't know. What are your thoughts about D23 announcing Obi-Wan and Cassian series? Uh, meh. I'm not super excited for either of those. Jay, would you build a turbo tank style monster truck? No, I would just build a turbo tank. I don't see. I don't want to mix monster trucks with other things. Like I like monster trucks, and I like monster trucks as is. I don't really need to fuse them with anything else. I'd rather have accurate monster trucks and an accurate turbo tank. Where's Gucci Peppa Pig? Somewhere in my closet. I had to hang it up for today. I don't want to flex too hard on the stream. You know what I mean. All right, so these are connected. Now I need to fill in these cracks. Hopefully this will be enough. All 
All right, give me one sec. I need to grab some one by two plates over here. You should do Lego parts hauls. Everyone tells me that, and I would like to. I just, once, I say this all the time. I just don't have the patience for it. Every time I get parts, I open I, I open the bag immediately. I'm sorry, sometimes you have hot tech of pants for it since how you don't find the phase one Clone Wars clone troopers appealing. That's not a hot take. They're not they don't they objectively don't look good, especially compared to the newer ones. People that like those figures, it is almost exclusively fueled by nostalgia. Glad you're enjoying the videos, Perseus Nicholas. Hey, Jay, there's a guy on Brickley who claims to have tan lever handles. You want to order some for my battle droid backpacks? Is that an actual piece? Do we know for sure that that piece exists? I guess it does exist. That's like a rare part. Does some of them come in the original AAT? I'm trying to think. Or was it the base that was tan? I don't even remember. The Boyo Squad grows more powerful. All right, have fun, Josh. Base of it comes in tan. Thought so. I'm guessing it's some European seller. I love coming across European sellers on Bricklink that have parts that don't ex that don't come in any sets. AJ, great mock. How long until it's done? Um, plan is to have it done by the end of the year. I agree. OG Phase 1 looks worse than the newer designs, but I love 2005 Phase 2 better than the new Phase... Oh my god. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that, dude. They don't... I mean... They, Hello there. I, I don't, I mean, I, I don't like to discredit people's opinions, but I think it's very clear that the phase two, the original phase two clones are objectively not as accurate as the most recent ones. Like they just are like line up a picture of the original phase one and the current phase one. And the newer ones are far closer to what they look like in the films than they did on the original ones. What's up, Bly Productions? How you doing, man? How exactly have I lost my mind? OG V-Wing was the first ever set I got, so in my opinion, it's fueled by nostalgia. I mean, but that's, okay, but that's different. Like, I really think we as a community need to distinguish this thing is nostalgic to me from this thing is objectively better than this other thing. I still think they could do a better phase too. The chin on the current one sticks out pretty far. I agree, it's not perfect, but... In terms of accuracy, the newest one is far closer to what it should be than the original. Here's a question I'm mulling over since my dad mentioned it. If people spent as much time uh, talking to R2 droid as other non-protocol droids, why didn't they just give him speech synthesizers? That's a wonderful question. I mean, it's 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 not a big deal, but when you think about it kind of in, in terms of... Uh, in terms of, like, the universe. It is funny, like, they spend so much time talking to pro, uh, to uh, astro droids, but they don't... I mean, maybe in that... Maybe, like, for them, it's just not difficult to pick up the language, like, the beeps. So it's not even, like, a, a big concern. Uh... 
I don't know. Interesting point, though. How long have you been into collecting LEGO Star Wars? I think 05 is when I really started collecting sets. The real question is why the heck can none of them fly anymore? Do you want you want me to give you a real answer to that? The answer to that question is simply because George Lucas. There was no need for R2 to be able to fly. Like that was just <sighs> George, George, George. Would you want to start a story with an interior? I mean, yeah, it'd be cool. It's not a big deal, but it'd be cool. It's all good, Aitken. Did you have a good day at school? some good days at school come on yeah i think the reason why most of us like older lego stuff is because of the look lego in my opinion i like because it's not 100 percent detailed or else they'll be no better than action figures see that I, I never agree with that point um mini figures are always going to look like mini figures right like the mini figure since they really finalized the design has been pretty static since then and I think that adding detail to them, like if you look at 05 figures compared to, you know, nowadays figures, like that's a good thing. Like by all means, please evolve the, the design. Like your if your printing has gotten better, like put it to use. So I, I think many at the end of the day, many figs are always going to look like many figs. I don't I don't Lego's never going to converge on like oh this is too close to an action figure like no one's mistaking a minifig for an action figure in my opinion Welcome in, Alice Reamer. Ugh. Taking apart this mock is going to be a mess. I think the only thing Lego could over detail are alien heads. At a certain point, they don't look like Lego anymore. I agree. I agree. I totally agree. For the most part, though, they've been pretty good about that. Like, I can't think of a, a Lego Star Wars alien head mold that looks bad, in my opinion, or looks out of place. <laughs> see the fight so i've heard people like kind of throw around like oh maybe like c3po gets possessed by the emperor but doesn't that kind of defeat the idea of like possession like a droid being possessed is not nearly the same thing as a person being possessed 
a droid being possessed could be something as simple as inserting like a USB drive into them and changing their programming. Like a droid being possessed doesn't have nearly the effect of a person being possessed. So I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if a droid by definition can be possessed, if that makes sense. Where do you get the sticker? I got it from OK Brickworks. Someone you should be familiar with. The sticker is going to give me anxiety. It's going to give meant you anxiety. I got to put it on. Yeah, um, what's his name? Matt introduced me to uh, OK when we were at Brickworld this year, so finally got in touch with him, and we got this thing going. Please put the sticker on on stream. I mean, I will. I'm just preparing this, this mock for it. I wonder if I should clean this before I put the sticker on. Maybe I'll, like, actually wipe it down before I do that. I don't want any, like, fingerprints or anything on this. Are you going to look at the DM I sent you? Yeah, I'll look at it after the stream. That's what it is. They plugged in the brand of C3P into one of those Emperor droids. <laughs> Battle, <laughs> Battle Front. The, uh, what are they called? The Sentinels? I think they're called. It would be cool to see a brick-built banner instead of a sticker. I considered that. It just wasn't worth the effort. Like, it wouldn't look... For one, it wouldn't look nearly as good. Because there's a hexagon and a circle and the spikes. I think it would just... It would look much nicer this way. Highland Chicago was obviously the epic pork set draft with really good parts. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Shout out to everyone who was on Team Boyo uh, at Brick World during our um, our tower building contest. Hey, I'm going to my first ever convention in Denver. I made a Sullis mock from Battlefront. Awesome. Congrats, man. What are you doing with the banner right now? Okay, so I'll, this will make more sense whenever I finish this up. But basically, um, the banner, when it's up on the building, there's a one stud gap between each individual banner. So it's three banners, right? Um, so in order to preserve the consistency of this... Um, I added, I basically connected them all together. So when I connect them, it'll all be lined up. And I added, I'm adding these tiles in as the part of the gaps. So I'll attach the sticker to this. And then I'll basically just cut out whatever is in the gaps. So then when I separate them, the lines will match up between these. For example, if I had the three banners right next to each other, and then I just cut down that one line, when I space them, the entire the the it would just be off like it wouldn't line up so hopefully that made sense whip the tile i'm gonna assume you mean wipe the tiles yeah i was thinking about that too i need to make sure i clean this before i apply the banner Yeah, so now that these uh, tiles are applied, uh, yo, Jay, I don't know if I've got an answer for this one. Which X-Wing you prefer? Um, uh, 2018 or the X-Wing from before that one? 2018, definitely. It's not even close. The 2018 X-Wing is by far the best one. Not even close. Shout out to Jordy Spurs Gaming for hitting me with that mad sub. Okay, so... Now that this is all connected, it's not going to come apart. I'm going to go get something to wipe this off with. Probably get some Windex and paper towels. So I'll be back in like less than a minute. It says use a rag that you would use to clean glasses. Um, 
I don't own a pair of glasses, so I don't own that rag, but that would actually be perfect for this. I just need to get make sure I get the smudges and stuff off of it. So, um, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Jay will need a guardian farm for his stream. What is a guardian farm? Can Jarek's brick fault instructions be viewed on a tablet or computer only? Um, it's a PDF file, so you can view it on a tablet. <laughs> and they're always coming in the clutch with them Star Wars quotes. Behind the sticker sheet will say, do not spray cleaner before placing sticker. Oh, crap. No, I'm kidding. We're good to go. I actually probably need to turn on the fan, so this will dry well before that happens you can get them from brick vault dot uh dot toys honestly my favorite extended universe thing is that there are multiple races that are straight up ripoffs of the borg from star trek the next generation i don't i have no idea about that what, is, what specifically are you referencing all right, it is cleaned. I am so scared and excited at the same time. So before I actually apply this, let's first line it up correctly. So I want it in the middle, obviously. Trying to figure out how the heck I'll be able to actually like line this up. Are you gonna cut out the corners? No, it's all clear. So it's once I apply those, the corners won't really be visible.
I'll take these off so I'll know exactly what I need to line it up with. You only have one shot, no pressure. Bro, stop. Y'all are making me so anxious. Okay, hold on. I want to look at a picture of this just to make sure it's directly in the middle of these. Zandy, what? Just remember, if you mess it up, we'll all <laughs> resent you. Oh my god. Y'all are mean. It's like you guys want me to fail. Uh, Starkiller based speech. Jay, you switched off your targeting computer. <sighs> you guys aren't making this any easier. I just want you to know that. Alright, so it looks like it's actually a little closer to the top than it is to the bottom. So we'll do like right here. If you mess up, we mass unsub. Maybe it might be easier to actually do this side as the top. I don't even know. I'll just, yeah, I should, I'll do this side as the top. So I was gonna build something up to line it up, but the edges aren't like perfectly in line with it so like if i have it on like a stud right it's not gonna like line up directly down the middle like from the edge to the middle if that makes sense that would be the easiest way to do this but unfortunately i don't think that's gonna be a possibility here let's i guess i can do something at the very edge or at the very top the problem is it's not cut straight on these sides either so i have to be careful Alright. Alright, see you, Zan, man. And yeah, this is my moment of need. Nice to know who my real friends are. start here bro Zanny ain't a real one shout out to all my real ones who are here with me right now to put big stickers on I make a line of brick separators and put a tiny bit on each This is, that'd be a lot of uh, brick separators. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Alright. I'm so nervous right now.
So far, so good. Make sure no air bubbles. This is like SpongeBob and Patrick trying to clean Mr. Krabs' uh, basement. Well, Jay is defenseless. Let's all talk about how wow, Matt. I will ban you. I will ban you. Don't, don't try me. So I like it, but I'm feeling like I might want to cut the edges off of it, which wouldn't be a huge deal. I could just cut it. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, so that went a lot better than it definitely could have. Oh, I realized I lost the tiles off of it. No, the yellow's not even gonna... So this is gonna be three banners. So it's gonna be cut into three pieces. So this will be like this left banner, middle banner, right banner. All right. So the sharpest thing I could find to cut this is this knife. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing into three chunks. People say that Legos are ding oh, never mind.
I think that worked. Have you not learned anything from Lego Movie 2? What happened in the Lego Movie 2? Did I miss something? Use a knife of exact. Oh, okay. I don't have an exacto knife here. I would have. It's alright, just don't tell my mom I'm using this. This is open heart surgery. I hope that worked. Let's see. <sighs> Jeez, these are on here really tight. Holy crap. I need to cut it again. It's not perfect. Bananas. Oh, banners are built on hope. I don't know why bananas is what came to my mind. Why are bananas considered bad luck on fishing boats? Actually, rather than just taking, it's probably easier to just peel the middle up. Okay, yeah, this makes way more sense. Oh God, that scared me. Actually, you know what might make this a lot easier? I didn't realize, okay. 
Here's what we're going to do. We're first going to peel this off. This I could have totally made this a lot easier on myself if I just did it this way, actually. So bananas float when rescuers got to the location of a capsized fishing boat. All they found were a load of bananas. Oh, okay. What's up, Alex? I'm glad you've discovered my channel. Are 70, or is it really 73 people watching right now? <laughs> I hope this is at least somewhat enjoyable for you guys. How many TIE Fighters do I have? I, 93? Holy crap. During the application phase. <laughs> I love it. You guys are awesome. Oh my god. I don't know why I just didn't do this at the beginning. I'm so excited for this, guys. You have no idea. Shout out to OK Brickworks. Uh, didn't realize it. Yeah, I did not. I did not realize that. Okay. Yeet! Yo, if y'all saw where that landed, oh my god. I gotta show you where this thing landed. This is such a pro move. Look at this. I don't know if you can see, but it literally landed right here. Like, it could have gone down the stairs over there, but instead it landed literally right here. That's how you know today is a good day. Rich Boy J is balling like Kobe. All right. Whew. Okay. <laughs> oh my, where's the, I was gonna say, where's the knife? Please don't let me lose the knife. My mom doesn't know what I'm doing up here with this. I just had to take a moment to look at this thing. All right. Now let's cut this thing. See, this makes way more sense because now I don't have to cut the whole thing. I can just cut wherever it goes over the lines. RIP to the tiles under this. Vibroblade. Okay. 
I gotta be very careful. Wouldn't that be the most tragic thing ever to watch me accidentally stab myself on stream? Don't lose it again, Jay. This weapon is your life. Word not make one great. People say, well, what? All right, see you, Chandler. Shout out to everyone for bearing with me through this. One more down, a lot more to go. It says, at least if you did stab yourself, we would call an ambulance. That's a good point. I mean, none of you know where I live, but that's a good point. This is so intense, guys. Oh my god. All right. At least the blood wouldn't show silver linings. <laughs> Texas man cuts Lego bricks with a knife. Who's your favorite pod racer? You mean like the actual pod design or the actual or like the the person driving it? My favorite pod design is probably Team Toes. The person, mine has been, we didn't even actually see him race. If you could live on one Star Wars planet, where would you want to live? I'll go to Scarif. Scarif looks fun. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, one side down. Another side to go.
all of you who are staying through this, I owe you a life debt. Okay, I can actually just take this part off now. Let me put the knife further away. Ugh, here we go. Check it out. Ain't that cool? Oh, man. This is going to be so sweet. I love it. All right, now I'm going to flip this. All right. It's not pizza time, guys. It's cutting time. Which actually makes me think I probably could have used a pizza cutter for this. It's working! It's working! Alright, guys. Wish me luck. Now this is pizza time. What's up, Mr. T? What a great name. Why so serious? You want to know how I got these scars? I have not seen Fanboys. I actually probably ought to watch that as a Star Wars fan. Alright. Oh, that was a bad idea. Hold up. Remix. I'm glad you guys are enjoying yourselves in the chat. I know this is just riveting material right here. It's like raining outside too, oh my god. Oh, I didn't finish cutting. One more to go. Oh, what's up, Hunter? How you doing, man? Yeah, dude, I have the other third of it right here. Oh, right here.
The only thing I hope is to make it through this stream without hurting myself. Woohoo! All right. I want to put that knife away. Oh my god, that was so tense. That was so tense, guys. Alright, so I'm going to basically move the camera facing the mock so you can see me apply this, these uh, pieces. i put these uh, tiles back on here. Oh boy. Intense. In intense. 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 All right. Enough of the games. Shout out to Veebster TV for subscribing. All right. I actually need to be careful and make sure I put these where they belong. Okay, so this one... Actually, it's not that hard. It's very clear which side is which. This one is clearly on this side. Okay. So it's time. Bring us Lance the Pork. Oh, you'll see Lance. You definitely see Lance. Okay, so this is going to be your sneak peek of the mock so far. The moment of truth. <sighs> Actually, I should do this in order. These two. not easy to do. Oh, does that go up in there? It does. We'll have to go around the other side and put that on actually. one
Uh oh. There's movies. Here we go. <sighs> oh my god. All right. This is it. This is our first order logo. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it. This makes me so happy, guys. Oh my god. This is so cool. This is so freaking cool, guys. Yeah, let me take the camera off. <sighs> this has been a long time coming, that's for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so freaking sweet. Oh, shout out to OK Brickworks. What a what a bro. What a guy. Oh man. This is so cool, guys. Oh my god. Got that boy Hux. Oh my god. Are you going to keep the banner forever? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> That's a great question. So, it's, it's, kind of, it's hard to tell on camera, which is actually a good thing. But it is slightly askew. Like, probably by like half a millimeter or so. Like, the top is lined up, but as it goes down, it gets kind of curved. But, like, you have to be looking really hard to notice it. Either way, I'm more than happy with it. This is exactly what I wanted. Lance is, la Lance is sleeping. He's right there. Oh, my God. This week's update is going to be so good, guys. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. I'm really glad you guys like it. Um, I should turn the porgs to look at the banner. I honestly don't feel like doing that. Pick Lance up. Oh my god, fine. Are you happy now? Shout out to Steak. Is that what that says? For subscribing? I can barely see it. Whew. What a day. This is what mocks are all about. These moments right here. These are the moments we live for. Oh man. I just can't stop looking at this. What's up collecting bricks? How you doing? So yeah, um, I don't even know where to go from here. How can I how can I top this? How can I top the big reveal, right? Jay, sleep on your mock tonight. 
I'm gonna have to show a lot of restraint to not do that, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, this is basically like that Bardo's Tower moment. Yeah, Leanda, please stop spamming. How many Porg Bays are there now that keep multiplying? I still just have five. I have five and Lance, the tiny one, which is right there. That Porg Child Support must be getting expensive. I don't pay Porg Child Support because I take care of them myself. The mother ran out on us, so I'm a single Porg father. Doing what I gotta do. Yes, this is the, the pork temple. I should get like a second big just pork sticker and make three extra banners so I can switch it out. How many porgs do you think it would take to like really take on a Wookiee? And Lance is the leader of the porgs. I'm glad all of you have taken a loving to Lance as much as I have. That's a big brain right there. They think their brain's so big. I appreciate that, Trevor. That means a lot, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm literally in awe right now. This makes me so happy, guys. This makes me so freaking happy. Make sure you guys buy those Rich Boy gummies so he can support the porks. Yes! Yes. It's hard out here for a pork daddy. Support your local rich boy Jay, guys. I need all the help I can get. I appreciate that, Brick Film Studios. That's the goal, man. This mock is definitely going to be something special. If I can just get that rock work built up on either side of this mock, it's going to be really something special. And I keep saying this, and I'll say it again, this is still just half the mock. This is still only half of the entire mock. Collecting bricks, I am six feet tall and two inches tall. I am six feet and two inches. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, please like the stream. I would certainly appreciate it. Twice the pride, double the fall. Can you stand next to the mock for height reference? Okay, I can do that. I don't know if you can see me right now, but it's a tall mock. Look at me! I can literally hide behind it. There's so much stuff on the floor, oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, it's a big mock. I don't like the first order, but I love this mock. How do you not like the first order? First order is so cool. I appreciate that, Hunter. And guess what else, guys? Monster Jam! <laughs> oh man I love it yeah, it looks like the president's podium with you behind it <laughs> it's 
It's the first order president's podium. Yo, I'll have to get like a stool to put back there and get a picture behind the mock so I look even taller than I should. Hey, shout out to Acrylio Coco. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the 199 dono. Glad you like the mock. Oh my god, I just I just can't help but to stare at this thing. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. This is what boyos are made of. I will make a video on the monster trucks, I promise. I just need to get more of them built. Jay is clearly falling in love in front of our eyes. It is definitely love at first sight. Jay and the side are about to get physical. <laughs> oh, God. No, that's for the late night stream. Yeah, if you guys want to see my X-rated content, give me... Yeah, you can check me out on... I don't even know where I'm going with that. How did you get so many, I'm guessing you mean porgs? Um, I bought them. Hey Jay, I'm taller than you, I'm a tall boy -o. I'm glad to hear that. Ladies love tall boyos. L L T B. The Porg is was like on clearance recently. You might be able to find it pretty cheap at Walmart right now. Are most of the pieces from Vardos? Um, yeah, a lot of the dark gray brick. Yeah. Are you going to get the Star Destroyer? Yes. Is anyone in this uh, chat planning on getting the Star Destroyer like day one? And if not day one at all? Hey now. Hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I put Porgs on the mock because Porgs are cuties. They're my children. Wherever I go, they go. Hunter, how many porgs are you and did you end up getting? And collecting bricks, how many porgs do you have? I'm getting a new phone and motherboard for the same price of the Star Destroyer. It's a good deal. Motherboard for my laptop. Oh no, I thought you meant for yourself. I could have sworn you were a robot. You should keep the porgs for the final showcase. I'm pretty sure I'll keep the porg. The porgs will definitely play some role in the final mock showcase. I have one built and one in the box. I'm glad you have two Porgs. I didn't see the Porgs at Chicago. The only thing I brought to Chicago this year was my Reaper. The Porgs were... I left them at home. I didn't want them to have to go through that plane flight. That could have been very dangerous for them. When will you make another pork? Will you make them a part of the internal structure? Someone actually said I should do that. And that would be a funny thing to do, but I don't know. It might be more trouble than it's worth. Get a 
Jay, I got the second platform built on the which tell you on stream. Nice, man. Are you going to put Kylo Ren's new shuttle in the mock? His new shuttle? What new shuttle does he have? I didn't know Kylo had a new shuttle. Oh, you mean the, like the new Lego set? Probably not. I thought you were saying like he had a new shuttle design like in the films, but I get what you mean. And that's okay, Keepercraft Gaming. Volt Texas are cute too. I won't deny it. If Lego made a, a Volt Tex build, that'd be pretty incredible. There's a one person who built, I don't know if it was life size, but it was a pretty large Volt Tex build. It was really nice. Shout out to the Angel of Herb. Thank you so much. He says, hey, Jay, I love everything you're doing. Keep it up, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Like, part of me is thinking right now, like, yo, I really need to, like, do some of the rock work on this mock. Like, that'd be a good use of stream time. But the other part of me is just like, I just want to stare at this. It makes me very happy just staring at this. Wish they could have rehauled the new Y-Wing to make it look more new, like the T-70 X-Wing. Um, they should have made it look like the three Republic naval, three engine Republic naval bomber. Um, do we st we still don't even really know what it looks like other than the Lego set, right? How are you going to put the hologram of Sm Snoke though? I'll probably end up brick building it. I have a few ideas. I really wish they would have done a, a Snoke construction figure, like that would have been perfect for that, but since they didn't, I'll have to take matters into my own hands. What's up, Austin? How you doing, bro? Appreciate that, man. I literally just put the banner on it, and I am in love Make a Snoke hologram like the snat the statue on your Vardos mock. Um, that's that'll be the gist of it. Yeah, it'll, I think it'll have to be a bit bigger than that because the Snoke hologram was bigger than that statue was. But um, that'll be the gist of it for sure. What's up, Michael Ta? He says returning after a bit of a break from the series and D word. I remember being concerned about the stage being too small, but this is a work of art. Seriously, I appreciate that, man. That's funny you mentioned that. I honestly thought the stage was going to be too big. Maybe for Snoke's face, you could use another sticker. I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I guess I could, but I don't know. I was honestly thinking I'd brick build it, like, especially given that his face is kind of, you know, decrepit and broken down. Although I could just find, like, someone to just make a bigger sticker for his, that looks like his, like, mini fake head. I have to think about that. I'm not sure. That's not a bad idea. What set did you get Lance in? So Lance is not from the set. Lance is actually, it's built by a guy named um, Brandon Griffith. He gave that to me. He had a bunch of them at Legoland Star Wars Days, I guess last year, and he gave me one. So that is where Lance came from. Man, this thing is so freaking cool. So much snow detail. I really wish I got I could show you guys the the whole thing right now, like with the ships and such, but a lot of it's like covered up by building materials. But uh, you'll be able to see a much better look at it once the the build update happens, because I'll of course clean off all this, and um, hopefully I'll have some rock work done too. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, maybe I'll ask you guys. 
What do you think it's a better use of my time between now and the final update? To start on the rock work or to start designing the big anti-aircraft turrets on either side of the, uh, the stage? Also, shout out to Nova Ninja for that hop subscription. Do you have a hard mock challenge for you in the future? Ask if you're interested in my idea. What's your hard mock challenge? You've piqued my interest. Brick Film says, start the rock work. Swifty Dart says, turrets. Petition to call him Lance Wayne Strong. <laughs> Nah, bro. Lance is the real deal. No, no performance enhancing substances. Rock work. I don't want to do rock work. I mean, I know I have to, but I don't want to do it. Don't make me. Turrets. So we have two rock works and two turrets. The Battle of Dakar and Lego build the resurgent class Star Destroyers and the Super Dreadnought and the big Resistance Moncala ship and support frigates for a cool space mock. I would actually love to do that. I was thinking, like, if I got a hold of someone's really nice <laughs> um, Resistance Bomber mock, I don't know, I wouldn't build, so I don't know if I'd do something at that scale, but I would love to do, like, maybe a mock that's, like, three tables big and the surface of the tables would be the surface of the top of the dreadnought. And then I just have like a bunch of ships flying over it and kind of the main centerpiece of it would be Paige's resistance bomber deploying the uh, bombs over the dreadnought. Jay, the rock work calls for you. I don't want anything to do with it. Are you going to build the super weapon part? Nah, that's that's not even worth it. Get the bad part done before the fun fun part. That's a good philosophy. I'll definitely do it at some point, Horizons. Like, that's a mock I've been thinking about pretty recently, actually. I would do some rock work when you start getting tired of it, start the turrets. It's good to work on two things at once. That way you can get, if you get stuck on one, you can work on another. That's a good point. I think I'll probably start off with the rock work. I mean, it desperately needs to get started. And um, then I'll see, you know, kind of how I'm feeling about it and work on some turrets. I would not use Burps Horizons. That is against my philosophy. Working at a Lego store is pretty fun, yeah. Lego's a great company to work for. So I think it's probably going to finish up the uh, update for today. <laughs> if you guys want to look at the mock longer, you can pause it and gaze at it as I have for the past 10, 20 minutes or so. Um, can we donate over time and add up? Yeah, that's exactly how that works. So for the donations, it's it's cumulative. You don't have to... I'm not going to count like each time as a different... As, as like not as being towards it. Actually, no, I am counting each time as being towards it. Basically, yes, it's cumulative. So I'll keep track of your donations. And then um, at the end, the total will determine, like, if you end up in the Boyo Lounge or if you end up in the mock in general. So, yeah, use that information however you'd like. Uh, May the 4th promo First Order Stormtrooper over First Order Battle Pack. Oh, God. Are you trying to trigger me? Are you trying to trigger me? If you're tired of rock work, change things up, add some more variety like curved slopes and interesting rock formations. Um, I don't know how I feel about curved slopes for, for rock work. Like, rocks are very, like, jagged. Curved slopes, I don't know. I have to really think about that. 
Dude, if you helped me with rock work, I would be eternally grateful. Like, that would be the best thing you could do for me. Jay, yeah, I think there's snow in your house. I think there's a lot of snow in my house. Just do flat walls for rocks and call it abstract. Oh my god. I'm sure that'll go over very well. But um, thanks to all of you guys for tuning in. It's been a great time. This is definitely one of the more fun streams I've had and maybe even include some of the best progress I've ever had. Um, so glad the banner thing worked out. Worked out better than I ever could have imagined. And um, yeah, this is this is looking pretty good, guys. So um, I'll see you guys, I guess, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll put some video out. I don't know. I gotta see if I can get Cena over here so we can do more LEGO Star Wars uh, Let's Plays. It's been a while since we've done one. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and like the stream on the way out. I'd certainly appreciate it. And also, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed for some reason. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. I really appreciate it.